for uh, an African to travel to the US like there's so many requirements you would think like you're going to heaven <laughs> hello fam welcome to the African diaspora news channel I am Wangil Zalal I'm bringing you this report President Trump enforces new rules on African travelers citizens of 15 African countries will have to post bonds of up to $15,000 to visit the US according to a new temporary travel rule which comes into effect on 24 December the six months pilot program which targets those on both visitors and business will act as a deterrent to those who overstay their visas, the U.S. State Department said. President Donald Trump, who lost a re-election bid earlier this month, made restricting immigration a central part of his four-year term in office. President-elect Joe Biden, a Democrat, has pledged to reverse many of the Republican president's immigration policies, but untangling hundreds of changes could take months or years. The visa bond rule targets countries whose nationals had an overstay rate of 10% or higher in 2019 and will now be required to pay a refundable bond of $5,000, $10,000 or $15,000. While those nations had higher rates of overstays, they sent relatively few travelers to the U.S. Reuters news agency reports the African countries affected are Angola, Burkina Faso, Chad, Democratic Republic of Congo, Djibouti, Eritrea, the Gambia, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, Libya, Mauritania, Sudan, Sao Tome and Principe, Cape Verde and Burundi. So those are the countries that they have put a new law on and this is going to go in effect end of December and um, they're going to find them up to $15,000. That's a lot of money. So what do I think about this? Um, I'm just going to give you an unpopular opinion. And I mean, listen, hear me out first. I see it in two ways like there's a really bad of course bad side and good side because some of them uh, are fleeing their countries for opportunities and all that stuff so I feel for them but the other side of me says maybe it's a blessing in disguise like for 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 him to say no to these people or putting these requirements will make people you know second guess their decisions to flee to US to go there or overstay their visas or you know, it will discourage them. That's what I'm trying to say. Discouragement of the people that are leaving Africa. That means if they're discouraged to go there, they'll do something here in Africa. You know, like at the end of the day, I know it's hard here. And I know there are opportunities in the US maybe that you won't find in Africa because of our corrupt leaders and the unemployment going up because they take our money and our resources and they are not using it wisely. I get that part. So, but like, look at people that made it still in africa there are billionaires there are millionaires not the ones I'm, I'm i'm not talking about the ones that are corrupt i'm not talking about the ones that did some shady business you know to get that money i'm saying the ones that built it from the ground up those kind of people those people are, are, are the ones i'm talking about so maybe this will inspire us the same way you know the pandemic really inspired us to create our own masks our our own sanitizers oh, our own toothpick like we used to import toothpick like how embarrassing is that so all these things in a way like you know whenever something bad happens to you when a door shuts down like the first thing you think about is oh my god what will i do i was planning on going there and changing my family's life and i get it but after that, what it will force you to do if you're a bright person or a person that just tries to see positive things or, or try to see that you can make it work, you will think, okay, what do I do? That door is already closed. What else can I do? What other doors can I open for myself and, you know, do things for myself in my own country? And hopefully this will motivate people, fr motivate them to work hard in their own countries and discourage them from thinking of this dream country that exists there you know now thankfully because of social media we're seeing even us is now all that it's made up to be like we know all the things that are going especially as an african as a black person you go there and you're not expecting you know racism and you're not expecting discrimination and that on its own is discouraging enough and a lot of people are being discouraged and i like that i don't know it's i know it's an unpopular opinion but it will help motivate us to do things here in the motherland in our own countries in uh, what are the gaps you trust me one thing is for sure i know there are lots of opportunities in america but here there is even 
more opportunities you know why because there are so many gaps that have have not been filled yet like us uk australia they have developed and even some things are done with machines and stuff humans are not needed but in africa we have like a long way to catch up now we have so many opportunities now to fill in the gap and to use our brains and to actually look at the blueprints that have been done before us that will give us an advantage you know like we're starting it's kind of like a clean slate and you guys i we can see aha us tried this but it didn't work so i don't have to do it this way i'll do it this way or us did this so it worked let me come to africa do this but that can translate work in Africa because those are two different markets, America and Africa. But that will help because you're in Africa and you know what the demand is. You just need to improvise. You just need to put those two together like, and fill in the gap and get money out of it. And you can actually, I totally 100% believe, you have more chance of becoming a millionaire in Africa than anywhere else. Because guess what? There's so many opportunities, but we don't see it because you know why? I know a lot of people ask, so if there's a lot of opportunities, how come your people are fleeing? Because they don't see it. Because as a person that is on the ground, all you see is a... Uh, okay, I want to be hired, I just took this uh, business class, now I want to go and do business. And then you're like, there's no opening. So your mind is close to, like you can create your own business, you can be an entrepreneur, you don't have to depend on that company to hire you. So I believe we can benefit more if we have mentors, people like that, are, that made it in Africa, to have this conversation with us to tell us this is how i did it you don't have to do it exactly like me but you can have an idea of what it requires to be to make it in in this continent so in a way i feel like it's a blessing in disguise like uh, president trump and his administration uh, putting this law to be enforced in for african travelers and i get that that is upsetting for some people that were traveling to go there and probably you know never coming back um but think of it as one door closes another one open and we can actually do something ourselves in our own community in our own communities and countries granted not everybody can think that because not everybody has the awareness not everybody has the access but for you to have the access to travel to the u.s come on you have some kind of resources for you to be able to get the visa there's somebody a sponsor that is calling you from there there's so many things that is there like you have no idea you guys in the u.s you don't know black americans you have no idea how how much of work and resources and time it takes for uh, an african to travel to the u.s like there's so many requirements you would think like you're going to heaven <laughs> seriously that's how they make it out to be and the amount of people they reject visas it's inc crazy incredibly crazy so um for america to be like that heaven on earth and africa being down here come on what why do you think all their multinational companies and all these big giants are coming to africa because they see the opportunities but unfortunately we ourselves don't see our potential don't see the opportunities and really don't see any hope so we are saying ah let me go to the u.s and change my life you know like i get both points but I think focusing on ourselves in our community, there's so many things that can be done, but I, I understand that there needs to be someone that can guide us and take us to those places where we've never thought of, you know, even for you to have a thought, you will need an exposure of some sort, right? So that exposure will help you understand, better understand that you can do it here. You can make it here in your own continent without going all the way over there, without being mistreated, without being, you know, like a criminal you're being seen like that there so why like why not make it here and actually create opportunities to other people around you and not only you think about it it's not just you that you're benefiting you you're extending your hands to the community when you are better when you are in a better position you can help others as well and that should be the goal and not to flee to america and now trump is telling you you'll sit your ass down <laughs> that's basically what they're telling us if you travel there and you overstay you're paying fifteen thousand dollars that's crazy so Africans, my fellow Africans, there's so many things that can be done here. All you need to do is have hope, faith, and most of all, do your research and see what has been done outside that you can do in Africa. There are so there is demand here for almost everything because everything we're importing. How, why not create it here, manufacture it here, and actually keep the money for yourself and for your country? Think about that.
Anyways, guys, do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this topic. I am Wengil Zalal and I'm bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.